Numbers chapter 9, here you read about how Israel were led day and night. Day, they were led by the pillar of fire, by, by the uh, pillar of cloud, and at night by the pillar of fire. And they're told here in verse 22, whether it was two days or a month or a year that the cloud stayed on the tabernacle, the children of Israel remained and didn't travel. But when it was taken up, they traveled. At the word of Yahweh, they camped, and at the word of Yahweh, they took up their journey. So sometimes they were just in one place for a very short period of time, and day or night, they could be told to move on, and they had to follow. And we're told that they did this at the commandment of Yahweh. Each move was at the word of Yahweh. Now, this is how our lives are. We were in Egypt. We went through the Red Sea, as it were, when we were baptized. We're now in the wilderness, and we are being led. We are being led by God, closer towards the promised land. But there is an element of instability and of unexpectedness as you follow God's word. He may leave you in the same place for a year. Or he may move you on after two days. That moving on, I don't mean geographically. I mean on your spiritual journey. And this is why he is really the God of surprises. This is why life lived in the spirit is never static or boring or the same old scene. Yes, religion gets like that. Repeating the same old ideas of a denomination or a particular teacher or founding father and coming along the same time, same place. Year in, year out. No. This is not the way of the Spirit. We are moved on. I do not mean that you ditch truth each time you move on. Not at all. But spiritually, we are on a journey. There is no doubt about that. And there is this unexpected nature in it all. But it's all done, we're told, at the word of the Lord they encamped. And at the word of the Lord they took up their journey. This essential word is what we have in the scriptures and as you read as you seek to understand you are moved on it could be in the middle of the night it could be in the daytime you could stay somewhere for a year and you might move on quickly at one stage two days here one day there three days there but it's always onwards closer towards the kingdom of god